very good afternoon students uh, let us now see how to design a combination logic circuit uh, with basic logic gates for single output and multiple output circuits so uh, you know what is combination logic circuit combination logic circuit is a circuit whose output depends upon the input can you see the circuit the output z depends on the input a and b so such circuits are called as a combination logic circuits whose output depends on the input can you see one more example here this is a circuit the name of the circuit is half adder circuit here there are two inputs a and b and there are two outputs sum and carry here the output depends upon the input such circuits are called combination logic circuits next point is we need to understand there are two types of circuit one is single output circuit other one is multiple output circuit what do you mean by single output circuit a circuit which will have several inputs but you will have only one output such circuits are called single output combination logic circuit multiple output combination logic circuit is nothing but a circuit which has multiple outputs okay so let us first understand how to design a single output so that we can go for multiple output so uh, next uh, slide is to design a single output single output combinational circuit the example what i have taken is i have taken a question from morris manu that is morris manu 4.4 question uh, he is asked to design a combinational circuit which has three inputs and one output so we are going to design a combinational circuit where we have three inputs and there would be only one output what is the criteria he has given us the output is one when the binary value of the input is less than three can you see the output is one when binary value is less than three so this is the condition he has given and he want you to design a circuit uh, which has three inputs and one output so what is the first step in uh, designing a combination logic circuit you know step 1 is to write the problem statement so write the problem statement to design a combinational circuit which has three inputs and one output the output should be one when binary value of the input is less than 3 i have written the problem statement what is step 2 identify number of inputs and number of outputs so how many number of inputs i have in the question he has given with three inputs so i know number of inputs is 3 number of outputs is 1 assign names or variable name to the input so x y z i have taken for input f is a variable i have taken for output so i am drawing a block diagram for it i am going to design a circuit which has three inputs and one output the inputs are x y z the output is f so this is my step 2 what is my step 3 i need to draw the truth table so how will i write the truth table number of inputs is x y z so i write x y z output is f so f so how three inputs so how many combination eight combination triple zero 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 one till triple one after writing this i need to generate my output f so what is the statement he has given what is the condition he has given he says the output is one when binary value of the input is less than three the output is one when the binary value of the input is less than three can you see 0 0 0 0 decimal value is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 5 6 7 he says output is 1 when the input is less than 3 since it is less than 3 i have written 1 i have written 1 since it is less than 3 i have written 1 since it is less than 3 i have written 0 because it is not less than 3 it is equal to 3 rest is all zeros so i have completed my truth table now after completing truth table what is my step 4 i need to do the k map so i how many inputs i have three inputs so i need to do a three input k map what are the inputs x y z what is my what is uh, the next step i need to do the plotting how will i plot what is the output f is equal to what 1 1 1 so there are three ones for which values you get one x bar y bar z bar so x bar y bar z bar i put a marker 1 what is my next one x bar y bar z so x bar y bar z i mark a 1 what is the third one x bar y z bar 
So x bar, y, z bar. I mark one. After marking once, do the grouping. These two cells are adjacent. So I group it. So this is my first group. When you fold this, these two are adjacent. So this is my second group. Okay. So now I need, what is my step five? I need to write a simplified logic expression for this output f. So, what is my logic expression? This is group 1 and this is group 2. For group 1, what is common? Horizontally, x bar. Vertically, it is y bar, y bar is common. So, x bar, y bar is for group 1. For group 2 also, horizontally, it is x bar. What is common vertically? If you see here, y bar, z bar. If you see here, y, z bar. So, z bar is common between these two. So, answer is x bar and z bar. So, uh, you have simplified it. So you got the output for f. Now what is the final step? Draw the logic diagram. So how will you draw the logic diagram? X bar, y bar and z bar. So there are two AND terms and one OR term. So x bar, y bar, z bar are the inputs I have taken. I am given to an AND term. So get I get a x bar, y bar. This is my x bar, z bar. Give the two inputs to an OR gate so that I get a function. F. So now what is that I have done? I have designed a combination logic circuit. Can you see this is the circuit I have designed. If I give any inputs to it, I get an output. What type of output I get? If my inputs are less than 3, I get my output as 1. If my inputs are greater than 3, I get my output as 0. This is the way you design a combination logic circuit. So your question can be anything. The output can be 1 if the um, binary value is greater than 5. So your question can be anything or output is one for the odd numbers, odd numbers of inputs or even numbers of inputs. So based on that, you need to design the circuit. So this is an example for what single output combination logic circuit. So you will have multiple inputs, but your output is single. Thank you.